Are you going to get me in trouble? No, I don't want to get you in trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. You've got your I'm going to get you in trouble eyes. I'm not against it, necessarily. I, I just haven't seen you in some time. I know this is ho hopelessly saccharine, but I don't know. I've been in an apartment by myself with some number of cats for a while. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know you had cats. That's so sweet. I have ten cats. Ten cats? That's a lot of cats. They're all little bastards. That's great. I love them very much. Yeah, that sounds like really your vibe. Uh, she's like, do you want to come see my apartment? I do. I, we did leave my job in the middle of my lunch. Uh, all right, you see, she says, fine. Let me just drop some things off. She peels out of the corner, runs inside. It's like this very small little apartment complex. It's like almost like more like a motel. It's like there's not even multiple like sort of stories to it. Um, she walks into a little place. You get a look through the door of her walking into her apartment. And there's got a bunch of like abjuration rooms and stuff like that. The smell, the the fucking odor of unwashed laundry and cat urine coming from inside of her apartment is just otherworldly. There's a, there's a lot of microwave dinner trays wow. around everywhere. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you, you probably don't have laundry here, but if you ever want to come to Mordred Manor and just do that there. Listen, the funky little family sort of sitcom thing going on at Mordred is honestly so wonderful, and I wish everyone there the sure. best. I mean, if you want, if you I... want to just cast invisibility on yourself, come over, use the laundry, hang out in my room. Do you think that would be all right? <laughs> the laundromat is just so, the hours of the laundromat don't make any they sense. They don't make any sense because they're <laughs> open during work hours, but then if you need to use a laundromat, How would you're I... at work. I'm at work, exactly. I just can't, I do genuinely, care for everyone at Mordred. I just can't be in a place where I say another mean joke and everyone looks at me like, wow. Honestly, they're so you know, nice. I they're so nice. And I really do appreciate them taking me in. And sometimes I just have to hide. It's just, it's just there's so the much niceness. Love. The niceness. They're so nice. They're so nice. And I did need that and I do need that. But there are times where I'm like, it's, it feels so messed up that I'm like, I wish somebody was a little bit mean to me sometimes. Honestly, I'm happy to hear you say it. I think niceness is a little bit of a curse, if I'm being honest. And you see that there, this ancient looking cat in her apartment just goes Bleh! and just vomits. And she goes, no, Hector, and goes and takes him up. And you see, she says, oh, my sweet little boy is sick. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, kindness. Who needs it? And you see, she, she wanders off into her very smelly apartment. Okay, I'll, I'll dimension door back to work. All right, I need to take care of Hector. I'm sorry, I hope you understand. No, 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 no problem. You go talk to, uh, to, to Elwyn. She opens the door. You see that she is wearing a full Snuggie. That looks so comfortable. It is incredibly comfortable. And it's so clean. Did you come over and not tell me? Hmm? Clean your laundry? That's so cute. Um, I did. I did. I did do that. That's great. I love that for you. You want to introduce me to all of your cats? Yes, I do. Hector, you've already met. Yes. And uh, she begins to go. Wow, he is puking again. One of the cats straight up, you come over and he's like, <laughs> like just so, they're all incredibly. Where did you find these cats? There did you is. Just steal them from the street? I uh, know. I didn't steal them from the street, Adine. I went to an animal rescue and I asked them to show me the ones that have been there the longest. Oh, boy. Oh. Are you going to cry? I'm going no, to. No, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm allergic because you upset the cats. And when you do that, they all shed so it's, much that they shoot their hair everywhere and it got in my so eyes. sweet Sometimes nice. cats are aggressive and mean-spirited, but that doesn't mean... you can't show your cat at other human beings, so you've got to show it to cats. I have so much love to give exclusively to cats. <laughs> 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 if we make that shirt, I want it. <laughs> I want it. I want it. <laughs> Randy, um, uh, uh, she looks and says, well, come on, take a seat. Watch a bunch of TV with me. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah, no, I want to. Well, I think it's time for me to begin the feeding process. It takes 90 minutes. Yeah, I can help if you like. <laughs> or do you have, like, a whole system in place? I have a whole system. <laughs> yeah. Um... You see, she points to a rack of healing potions and shows her arm is just shredded by, like, cat teeth and claws. Wow, yeah. 
It's all right. It's worth it. Um, Aren't you an abjuration wizard? Can't you? And you another. Can't you just make yourself a little? Can mage? you make yourself a little um, mage? <laughs> the cats can arm. smell the ward, and they won't take the medicine. <laughs> So I have to take the ward down. <laughs> you know, sense. if you would assume that other people sometimes know what they're doing, I, you would I ask, just, hey, is there a system? Hey, sometimes you do things that are stupid. One does things that are stupid, and then somebody points that out, and you're like, well, I feel stupid, but also you're right. That's true. 